Welcome to Medicine Woman Tarot. This is going to be a general reading for the sign of Virgo. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Father God, in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, help me to give a clear and accurate reading for the sign of Virgo. If you'd like to make any donations towards my channel, you can find the link in the description section. Just as a side note, with any donation you give, if you choose to, you could ask me a question in the comments section, and I will make a tarot video for you answering that question. I want to apologize in advance for any background noise you may hear due to the dogs. All right, I scurried the crystal ball for you today before starting the video, and the image that showed up for you was two children, two little girls, and they had bows on their hair. And they were wearing dresses. Now, the girls in the crystal ball that showed up, excuse me, I got dog hair stuck to my bracelet. Now, they had bows in their hair. And the one to the left had a bow that had white polka dots on it. And then the next image that showed up was of a little girl on her own. And she had, like, two pigtails, but they were, like, buns. That's been coming out a lot lately in the crystals. And uh, in between that image before seeing... The one I just mentioned, there was a dragonfly. So it didn't come in fully, but I could see like somewhat of a formation of it. So with this showing up for you, this could be a representation of a sibling. This could be a friend, a childhood friend, or this could be, you know, someone that has, you know, always been very, you know, close to you growing up, such as, you know, an old past childhood memory of like a neighbor that you used to play with. You know, so take it how it resonates. It'll apply differently to everyone. But this could also represent your inner child, you know, trying to get in touch with your inner child because it's within our inner child that we are connected to Jesus, that we're connected to God, you know, the heavenly realm. So that could be representing that, you know, that need to or that you are connected to your inner child. <clears throat> the next thing that showed up for you with the dragonfly being there, that represents like transformation. And it could also represent that's your spirit animal. So pay attention to the dragonflies because they're just like birds. They are messengers from God. Now, the first card to flip out for you today is the eight of coins. So with the eight of coins being here, this is a message telling you to keep working towards your goals. Keep putting in the blood, sweat, and tears and working towards whatever it is that you are trying to manifest. Next card out for you is the King of Cups. So with the King of Cups being here, this is going to be an offering of some sort. This is like an offering of, could be love. This could be a job opportunity. So take it how it resonates. But with the King of Cups, this could be something that is like romantic. This is like an offering of something that's very heartfelt and connected to the emotions here. And that was clarified by the Four of Cups. So with the Four of Cups being here, it's letting me know that if you are going through a difficult situation right now where you're looking at your spell cup, know that God is going to be giving you something even better here. So you can see like the hand with the cloud that's coming through here. And that's Jesus going to be giving you something that's even better. So if there was a situation where, you know, you feel like you lost out on something or you feel um, hurt about something, Know that God is going to be gifting you something that is going to be even better than what it is that you lost. And if the video clicks off, I will make the second half to the video. Now, the next card to come out for you was the new Spirit Moon Hope. So with this card coming out, it's letting you know to keep your thoughts positive, to know that whatever you ask for in Jesus' name, you shall receive. And it's letting you know to remember that no dream is too big. And at this moment, miracles are possible. Use this time to plant the seeds of inspiration and to tend to them, weeding out what no longer interests you or serves you. So that's a beautiful message that's coming through for you. Now, the next card that flipped out for you was the Rose Open Heart. So with the Rose Open Heart being here, this is a representation of, you know, love. And the rose has lots of symbolism as well. The rose is considered a very holy type of plant. This is the Virgin Mary's favorite plant of the roses. So we're going to get into that in more depth in the second half of the video. We'll look at the medicinal benefits as well as the symbolism of what it represents. All right. See you in the next one.